what the mother f is up guys welcome back to the vlog it's cat here you already know so over the last couple of days i've been having some thoughts and i honestly and truly feel like i want to start daily vlogging and just seeing what happens because i feel like it would be really fun and i feel like i'm gonna learn things along the way you guys will just get to know me like so much more and better everything we do we go in dummy but yeah so i have some pretty exciting things going on i'm going to iowa later this week it's currently tuesday i leave on friday but yeah i do have some errands that i need to do today so i'm just gonna take you guys along with me i really want to go to the thrift store and like try to find some cute shit Ooh, i should go get my airpods no but i'm gonna be vlogging though so like why do i need my airpods yeah okay let's just get to the bank and we're just gonna be on the freaking way. And I need gas, that's great. I actually hate filling my gas. I've been driving downtown every day and I live like 30 minutes away from downtown, so paying for gas just sucks. If you're American and you're seeing this, I pay like eight, I pay like seven to eight dollars a gallon. Like that's the vibes out here. Right now, like per liter, it's 205, but I pay Supreme gas or a premium gas, sorry. So that's probably gonna be like, what, like 220? Some 220 bullshit. Girls should never have to pump gas. Girls should never have to pump gas because of like, it's just dangerous for girls to pump gas, I feel like, you know? Like, I want to be that vlogger girl. And that was my phone. You don't need your phone when you have a camera. Like, the thing is, I just, like, did not have coffee today. And, like, it's not sitting right with me. But maybe it's time to break the cycle, you know? Every day, I feel like I progress more and more towards not giving a fuck. Hi. Hmm. All this shit looks gross. I don't fuck with none of this shit. I'm about to leave. Yeah, but you guys don't have it. Um, I just wanted like a black coffee. Black coffee? Yeah. Yeah, I already saw what you guys have. I didn't really like it. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Dude, they probably think I'm stealing shit. Guys, so we're at our local value village. If you don't know what that is, that is the thrift store. And why do I feel like it's popping here right now? Like, there's so many people around. I feel like it's gonna be weird. This is my first time bringing the camera into the thrift store. I'm gonna take a sip of this water and it's fucking go time. Okay, so we're at the thrift store and there's five million people here. There's so many people here. I'm about to pick up stuff, throw it in here. And I want like non cropped things. Everything I've had for a long time has been cropped. And I'm just in that era where like I don't need that. I'm trying not to dress like a thought anymore and be a little bit more classy. We're definitely gonna have a classy girl summer. Like, shorts and jeans have always been such a hard thing for me to find where they fit me well. Because I've always had such a weird body because I ran track. Like, finding pants that fit me has never been an easy problem. Yo. You guys don't even be looking though. I'm really trying to get over my shyness of filming in public because who gives a fuck? I need some shorts so bad. Okay, these might be cute. I just want to pay sure shirt for like this type of wash. But they, I don't want them to look like this. These ones like might be really cute. I don't know. We'll see. Like, is maturing as a woman meaning that I'm gonna start wearing looser clothes? When I was in college, I was wearing like bras as shirts, and now I'm over here like, I don't know what's happening. That's 
So I got this one piece on. This one piece jumpsuit because we're going to try on everything later in the corner. Okay, we need to look for skirts. We need skirts and dresses. These would look to fit me. I want to try it on this. Always fit me in the legs, but never the waist. Okay, we're gonna have to say no because one thing I learned: if you're not like crazy and insane obsessed with it, that means don't buy it. You know when like you spent like a portion of your day stressing about something, and then now you're done stressing about it, you're kind of like trying to be in Zen mode, but you can't because you spent like so much time being stressed. You know what I mean? I hate when that happens. Oh my god. Mm, I love that. I hate bitches that got no manners. This is cute. Bro, I got Doja Cat stuck in my head. I never really liked tanks that like went that low because I was always a part of the itty bitty titty committee and it's always been like that since I was younger. Like that and like v-necks are a no-go for me. Okay, let's go look at shoes. Oh, but it's so cute. Hold on, let me take my sock off. Is that weird? Let me take my sock off. This is cute. What the fuck? These are cute. Never mind, they're ugly as fuck. Hey, did you think this bag is ugly? Or is it cute? I feel like it might be cute. I've been wanting to bring my laptop everywhere, so I need like a big bag. This one's cute. Like, imagine you see me on the street. Okay, no, I have to call a friend. I have to call a friend right now. I don't know if I should get these shorts. Like, imagine it with a top that's like tight. Oh my god, some of these shorts might be weird because I'm wearing leggings. Oh my god, is this cute though? Am I gonna regret not buying this? Question still sounds like, do I get this bag? So I don't know if I was irritated in there because I didn't have coffee or if I was irritated in there because there were so many people. Okay, so I did end up getting this bag. I think it's so cute. I just really wanted like a larger bag because like I'm really about to start bringing my laptop around with me and like editing on the go, dude. Like, that's, that's my vibe. That's my vibe. Oh my god, you know when you have like things still to do, but all you want to do is just go home? Like I have very much turned into a hermit, like a hermit crab. But yeah, I don't really know what it is, like I've been like on the search, on a quest, on like how to figure out how to have more energy in a day. Because I feel like sometimes I wake up and when the, the days that I wake up kind of sad, it's... It's honestly really hard to like find the energy to like do the day and sometimes all I really do is just wake up and like exist and having that athletic background that's so like waking up and just existing is so detrimental to my mental health because I'm not used to that I'm used to productivity. 
I'm used to insane productivity due to the fact that I was a student athlete. I just have to realize that it's okay. Like sometimes your best looks like waking up and doing nothing and like getting out of bed sometimes that literally is the best that i can do for that day i've been learning about how to navigate through those types of days because i've learned that things are 10 times harder when you don't accept your circumstances you know because like for the longest time over the past couple months i've been getting really irritated about how i haven't been able to get such and such done and like sometimes when you're going through things you don't have that energy and that's okay that's okay and i think now i've been able to really absorb what that means to take care of yourself and be easy on yourself because like I don't know, like, going through hard times, you can't really expect too much, just your best. And sometimes your best is just opening your eyes and eating breakfast, because sometimes I'll wake up and I'll just lay there. Like, I won't even, like, like, I won't even, like, get up, brush my teeth, wash my face, check my phone, I'll just lay there, like, wondering, like, what the fuck, why am I here? You know what I mean? So I'm just on the floor of my room, eating. I just finished uploading a video, and I'm probably going to edit another video as I'm filming this video. Yeah, guys, I really want to start posting every day. It's been something I've been thinking about for a while. I'm definitely in this phase where I'm trying to figure out a lot of shit. And I'm just ready now to put that all into action. Right now, I definitely want to, like, try something new. And I feel like the videos I was making before, I was trying too hard to be perfect. And so, now I'm going to go on the opposite side of the spectrum and just go completely just raw. The past few months, I've been trying to hide, like, this piece of me that's, like, struggling with life. Because I feel like definitely right now, I'm struggling a little bit with just coping with some life changes and whatnot like everybody knows that I'm um, I just graduated from college and that I retired from track but thanks for coming with me today to the thrift store I really appreciate your company and I guess I'll just see you guys tomorrow so weird because I used to be like see you guys next time and then it was like when you see me you see me type of thing but now you're gonna just see me tomorrow so please Join me in this journey. Give me encouragement. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like these videos so I can continue making more. Your words mean so much to me. I hope everybody has a good night. Make sure you go to sleep early so you can wake up early. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do too much. And I'm probably just going to get ready for bed, go to sleep, start the day. And I'll see you guys in the morning.